Hi guys, this is Jamin with Point Tech. Uh, today we're bringing you another key repair video. Uh, we're working on a Lenovo laptop today, so this will apply for most Lenovo laptops you have. Uh, if you don't have this exact model, there may be some variations underneath your key, but it'll all pretty much be basically the same. Uh, so we've already shown you videos on how to do these normal keys, uh, but we're getting a lot of questions as far as the large keys, space bar, enter, shift, um, the larger keys. So we'll show you what to do to replace those. Uh, same idea, you're going to want your small uh, screwdriver, flathead. Uh, you're going to try to get this under your keycap, which is the, the top part, but underneath there are plastic retainer brackets, uh, retainer clips. Uh, they're plastic, they're small, they're very easy to break. So we're going to try to get this in between these two so that when we pull off this cap, our screwdriver is holding that bracket down so it doesn't break on us as we're ripping this off. So it's hard to do, you can't see what you're doing under there, but just feel it out, go slow. Okay, so, nice and, okay, there we go. So, it came off this way, I'm going to put it down like this, so I know how this thing came off. Um, so this is what you're going to see on, underneath one of the larger keys. Usually under one of the smaller keys, you only have one of these plastic retainer clips. In a larger key, like a space bar or an enter or a shift key, you're going to have two of them. Uh, you're also going to have uh, one or more of these metal brackets. Uh, these aren't as easy to break, so you can kind of relax with those. Um, but yeah, you'll have either one or two, or in this case, three. Um, I don't think I've ever seen four, but whatever. Um, you're going to have these in there too. These aren't so much of a big deal. They come out pretty easily. They just kind of slide out. Um, you're not ripping these off like the plastic ones. But they just slide out of where they are. And this one went in the middle. I'll show you how to put that back on in a minute. Um, in order to get these brackets off, you'll do it the same way. They're usually held on by four little metal tabs. Two on the top, two on the bottom. Um, and again, if you're not having the same model, it'll look a little different, but it's, it's all pretty much the same. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to push up on the plastic little clip here, give myself as much wiggle room as I can get, and then I'm going to gently try to pry this out from under one of these metal clips. So be careful, it's, it's easy to break. Oop, there's one of them, and that's the other one. So, let me show you this clip. So this is what you're looking at. Um, a lot of clips look a little different, but they're all pretty much the same. These are the two little tabs that I was trying not to break. So those are still intact, those are still there, so good job. Um, now that's how you would salvage a key. Let's say you're looking to replace a key and you can't find them for sale, so you bought a keyboard. That's how you would salvage it so you don't have to replace the entire keyboard. Sometimes it's very hard, especially if it's a uh, French insect keyboard. So, in order to put this back on, sorry it's so dirty in there, uh, what you would basically do uh, is we took these parts off first, so those parts will go in last. We're going to take this, we're going to set it down where it was, try to get in there, and then snap it into place. Just like that. Uh, then you're going to take these metal brackets, and again, just like we took them off, you're just going to slide this one into that hole, slide it into this hole. There we go. Try to lay it down kind of centered, not all on the left or all on the right, kind of centered, or it's not going to snap into place. Same thing with this one. Put it in there, put it in there. Lay it down, try to get it centered. There we go. Oop. I can do a better job. Alright, now underneath, you're going to want to put this back. This just snapped in the middle. Just line it up like that. Again, try to center it. Then you're going to just put it on top, snap it into place. See? And that's just how it is. Make sure it's snapped all over. Uh, but that's how you would replace a key. Well, let me show you what the un uh, underneath of the inner key looks like. Uh, I mean, again, snap, put that in there underneath. All right. 
Okay, so same thing, same looking bracket. You only have one though. And then you only have one of these metal brackets underneath. So they'll all be something like that. They'll have this bracket that you can pop off the exact same way, and they'll all have one or two. Same thing with your enter key, plus key, shift keys. Uh, so to take this off, you take it off the same way that I just showed you. Then this one doesn't slide in anywhere, it just snaps in. So, so that is how you would do one of the larger keys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them at, at the bottom if you're facing another model and you think it's a little unique or something. They're usually not. Uh, but yeah, if this video is helpful, like it on the bottom. Uh, if you like videos, do-it-yourself laptop repair, subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching.